Okay, so this week we're gonna talk about boys. The thing about me and being shy is that I'm just shy online. I'm actually really outgoing and confident in person in real life. I, I'm just about it. I'm about my business. I talk to anyone. I do anything I want. Nothing stops me. I fear very little, little to nothing, <laughs> just to be real. It's the internet that I fear. There's so much access to who knows who on the internet, psychopaths or something, you know? And we've all heard those horror stories of the haters and the trolls on the internet. So I guess when it comes to getting personal and vulnerable on the internet, I'm just like, I don't know if I want to do that. Like I can be, I can give you the full frontal, the full honest scope of my whole existence in real life because I feel like there's less eyes. Not that I'm like hiding anything. I'm not really like a hiding person, but at the same time, nobody really wants to tell everyone everything all the time. There are some people who do that though. They tell everyone everything all the time. And I think those people are very confident. I think they're brave. And I think they're just really good role models in life because at the end of the day, the internet is just another place to conquer. It's another place to just like be yourself authentically, but then also delve into who you are on a deeper level. That brings me to the first guy. <laughs> the first guy right now is top of my charts, okay? The number one guy on my little roster. I don't like saying roster. I don't like saying roster. Anyways, the first guy, we're gonna call him the barber, okay? If you follow me on Twitter, you've already heard me talking about the barber. If you haven't already, follow me on Twitter. Honestly, the reason that I think that I put the barber at the top of the chart is probably because he's the most consistent and entertaining. Just I don't know, which I hope is everyone at this point, um, the barber makes social media content, right? A lot of content, okay? It's good content. I enjoy the content, genuinely. Um, it's good, the consistency is there. There's always something to learn to new. new learn to new. There's a lot of learn to new. There's a lot of new to learn. Um, if you ever got bored in a relationship, the only way he's kind of at the top is because I don't get really bored with him. There's always something that I think there's there's to learn about him or be entertained by, unlike a lot of guys who can kind of like get bored. Some guys, they use up all their tricks at the beginning and, it, it, and then it's just like, well, what now? I mean, the barber is shorter than me. The barber is a kid. The, the, the barber's tiny, peewee. <laughs> I don't judge on height, but you know, when I have to say, what is your tuxedo gonna be like at our wedding? And I know that I have to cut off a foot of fabric. <laughs> I'm gonna save money on the fabric for the wedding. I'm not even kidding. I take account of that, <laughs> but it's okay. Cause it's a short king. You know what I mean? Like I said, I kind of like the barber more than I'm fucking with him for like over a year. The guy that I think that I would put right under him we're gonna call him Gutter. I've been wanting to call him Gutter because something happened. I'll probably tell you this story one day, but I'm not gonna tell you right now because we need to give all the guys some some time to win my love. Just to get serious, I'm, I'm gonna get like many trophies. I'm like, thank you, but you don't get a trophy or a wife. Oh, you know what I mean? Like I said, I kind of like the barber more than Gutter, so a gutter second because he is just so fine he's just so fine and honestly i think he is way more attractive than the barber in my opinion so if you have any idea about my type <laughs> i like two types of guys i like hispanic guys and white guys I like guys with tattoos Tat you are tatted up if you have a full sleeve two if you have both sleeves tatted you're, you front of the line, front of the line. There is Hispanic, and he has like the finest little jawline. Like it is, it is sharp, not sharp, but it is like it's solid. It is a solid jawline, and he is actually taller than me. Butter, I've been fucking with him for like three years actually, but he's not 
to she's consistent but he's kind of boring like you know like the barber he he makes content on on social media so i feel like there's always something to look at and entertain myself with the gutter i don't have him on social media i know him from work i see him it's like the best i i get i like you know it's it's frequent and he's cool but it's not like i have a never ending catalog of photos or something okay and the next one that we're gonna put right under him is we're gonna put plum i'm calling him plum plum is a nice guy but there are some things that are very i don't know how to say this con controversial or something about him that isn't really my type but I put him there because he's expressed interest in me. And he's attractive. He's decent. He's honestly probably shorter than the barber. And that's a thing that I don't really like very much. <laughs> but he's kind of made it clear that he is interested. And he got tits, so I'm with it. <laughs> and he's Hispanic. And he's new. Plum, I've been considering Plum for like a week or two. Like two weeks maybe from when I make this video. From when I release it like three weeks. Mm. And so, I don't know, like, to see where it goes. As you can tell, like, he's not the top of the chart. Maybe I'm gonna move him down. Okay, then there's Teddy. And the Teddy, that's the nickname, obviously. Being a guy named Teddy, that'd be kind of weird. Being a guy named Teddy would be kind of weird, but I mean, I, I'd make it work. The reason that I like Teddy is because he is really into film. Teddy is a writer and he's very educated when it comes to like cinema production and things like that. And so I feel like we could have really good conversations. We'd be great business partners and, and things like that. Um, I think he kind of sees the world through a camera lens like I do. He's white. He's, he's white as they come. Teddy is in a relationship. Sip our tea again on that one. And we gonna get back to it on a later day, baby. <laughs> the next guy, we're gonna call him Tiger. Okay, we're gonna call him Tiger. Um, I like him, and but he is really dark skinned. He's not really dark skinned. He's like maybe a shade or two darker than me. So that's kind of like the darkest guy I got on my roster. And he's really good looking. He's older than me. I'm like 24. He looks like he could be like 34 maybe. I like older guys too. I have no shame about it. He has really handsome facial hair, and I think he has like a a white patch and people can have white patches at young ages I've seen people that are like 23 and they got like white patches and I was like okay he, he's really handsome he's a little he's a little thick but he's not plump or fat he just got some extra bone on his meat <laughs> bone on his meat extra meat on his bones okay. he's into the entertainment stuff too I think he's more into I don't know what he's into good eyepiece he's a good eye candy but I don't know nothing about him. Who else? Oh. We're going to call him Lock and Key. What's today? Today is, is today Monday or Tuesday? I need to know, right? So I checked and it is Monday. We're safe. We're safe. So this next guy, and I think we're going to, we're going to say, we're going to say this is the last guy. <laughs> we're going to say this is the last guy. Of course, I could pull men out of my Mary Poppins bags of options, <laughs> of course, but <laughs> we're going to just stick with the top few. That, what were the top few? Okay, we had the barber, we had gutter, we had plum, teddy, tiger, and then this last one, lock and key. We're not calling him lock and key because he is in for sure. He's the last one I brought up, so that means he's also kind of at the bottom of the charts. I call him Lock and Key because he is a security guard. He is a security guard that works in my apartment. So where I live, there's one of the security guards who we kind of have a thing. We we have we have a thing for sure. I remember when I first moved in, I thought he was cute. I thought he was really fine. He's like Hispanic or something. I think he's like Puerto Rican or something. I think he knows Spanish. I think I think he has like a Hispanic heritage or something or something like that. You no, know, when I first moved in, I already thought he was cute. I thought he was I thought he was really cute, and I think I tried flirting with him a couple times, but after like half a year, maybe maybe more than that, like I think he finally like bit the bait, cause 
the way that my apartment works is there's like, you know, there's the doors and then there's like a keypad that you gotta press the buttons to get in. I'm just like so worried that like my neighbors or my property managers gonna hear. <laughs> the only one who's went to first base.